Kindle's tau correlation coefficient is a non-parametric correlation test and it is used to measure the strength and the direction of association between two variables. It is an alternative test to the non-parametric Spearman's rank order correlation coefficient. It is used when you do have a sample size that is small or you have many tied ranks which means many scores have same ranks. It is used for better estimation of correlation in population. The test can be used for analysis of Likert scale data. To use the test, there are certain criteria and assumptions that have to be fulfilled to use the test. And the first assumption is that the two variable you have, they can be either two continuous variables without liars, which means they are not normally distributed, or two ordinal variables. The relationship between variables are not linear. It is a monotonic relationship. Kindle's tau correlation test is a statistical test that can be used to find out a correlation or association or a link between two set of data, two groups of data or two variables. And those variables can be either ordinal in which the data are in order like A, B, C, D, E, F, or ordinal with continuous. One of the variables is ordinal, the other is continuous, but it is not normally distributed, i.e. there is an outlier in the data, whether it's extreme value or a low value. So the test is done or carried out or used when the data are not normally distributed. So it is a non-parametric test. The test also can be used when you do have a small data. You have two groups that have small values in it. The numbers are really small. So then Kindle's to the one to use. How to do the test? We'll show you in SPSS. Here I have four variables. The first one I've is labeled ordinal as it goes from one to six, indicating A, B, C, D, E, F. So uh, A for one, B for two, C for three, and so on. And then there is variable one, variable two, and variable three. Variable one is again a ordinal data as it is one, two, three, and uh, variable two, three, two, and three is also a continuous variable. So again, as we can see here, we have a small number of data, 30 cases, and uh, we need to find if there is a relationship between these four different variables. And the test to go for is Kindle tau correlation test as we have here small number of data small samples two 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 variables variables are either ordinal or continuous that is that are that are not normally distributed and to do the analysis to do the test click on analyze scroll down to correlate click on by var by variate which means by variables two variables and I'm going to compare the ordinal with all the four, ordinal with all the three other variables.
if I move them into the box under variables and I'm going to use here the Kindle's tau correlation test and I'm going to untick Pearson and tick the Kindle's tau test for the test of significance I'm going to keep it as two-tailed a default test two-tailed two-tailed statistical test I only can use one tail if I really know the uh, the direction of the relationship whether it there is an increase or decrease then we can use one way tailed one tailed uh, test of significant and then I'm going to uh, take flag significant correlation so this test will measure the strength of the correlation between two variables whether it's a strong or weak positive or negative as it give it will give a value from minus one to plus one minus one indicate very strong negative relationship one value will increase the other decrease plus one is a positive relationship which is a strong one one variable increase the other increase when it's the value for the correlation is zero then there is no correlation so that test will calculate and determine the strength of the correlation the direction of the correlation and the statistical significance of this correlation i'm not going to change anything in the options keep it the same and style the same so i'm going to click on ok a table of correlation will be generated again the software will correlate the first variable which is called ordinal with itself and then with variable one with variable two with variable three so in this case as we can see correlating the variable to itself give a one coefficient correlation coefficient of, of one as itself correlate with, with itself if we correlate the ordinal variable with variable number one we can see here that the coefficient is 0.425 so there is a positive correlation and this correlation is moderately moderate correlation and it is statistically significant as the p-value is 0.004 so here we can safely and with confident state that the uh, correlate, correlating ordinal with variable one the relationship is positive and the coefficient is 0.42 and it is statistically significant and when there is an increase in the ordinal there is increase in the variable one so it is a positive correlation that's statistically significant however if we compare the ordinal to variable number two again we get a positive coefficient which indicate that the relationship is positive so the increase of the ordinal increase of the variable both of them increase together but the coefficient is very low as it is 0.1 uh, which indicate there is a very weak correlation However, the p-value is not significant, so the statistical show that the association is not significant as the p-value was 0.4, uh, and so and we our cut off point for p-value is 0.05. Anything lower than 0.05, statistically significant. Here it's 0.4, so the correlation there is a weak, weak correlation, but it is not statistically significant. So we can state here that there is a weak correlation between ordinal and variable two, but the correlation, and it's positive, but it is not statistically significant. When we also correlate the ordinal with variable number three, we get a coefficient of minus 0.28. This indicates that this relationship is negative, inverse, ordinal value increase then the variable score within the variable decrease so it is a minus relationship and it is weak relationship however 
if we look at the p-value find it is really statistically significant 0.037 so this indicate that the ordinal variable correlate with uh, variable 3 negatively and it either the association or the relationship is statistically significant at a cutoff point of 0 0.05 because 0 0.03 is smaller than 0 0.05 so fairly here I can we can see that say that or state that the correlating ordinal with the variable three is there is a correlation that's a negative correlation and it is statistically significant. Again, if we look also at the column here, we can look at a correlation between variable one and uh, variable two. The correlation is 0.5 point sorry point oh eight weak correlation but not statistically significant if we correlate variable one with variable three again again the correlation coefficient is very weak point oh five close to zero and the p-value is very 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 high so this is not statistically significant correlation between both again if we correlate variable um variable two with the uh, variable uh, 3 we can see here that the correlation is very weak positive but very weak and it's not statistically significant at it is nearly 0.9 close to 1 and if we again if we correlate variable 1 with variable 3 we can see there is a weak correlation that's positive close to 0 and it's not statistically significant at the value is 0.68. So this, from this, it is very straightforward to make a conclusion um, when comparing two variables that are not normally distributed, when the data are not para parametric and these data are small, the, the data on the, the, the groups are small. We can compare two variables using the Kindle's total correlation coefficient.